With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So our question is: A silver ball of radius 4.8 cm is suspended by a thread in a vacuum chamber. Ultraviolet light of wavelength 200 nanometer is incident on the ball for some time, during which a total light energy of 1 into 10 to the power minus 7 joules falls on the surface. Assuming that the average one photon out of every ten thousand is able to eject a photoelectron. Okay, we have to find the electric potential at the surface of the ball, assuming zero potential at infinity. What is the potential at the center of the ball? Okay, now we have been given that a silver ball having a radius of four point eight centimeter is suspended in a vacuum chamber. Okay, so let us suppose this is our ball, spherical ball, silver ball, having a radius of r is equals to how much? Four point eight centimeters, and our ultraviolet light having a wavelength of two hundred nanometers is incident on this silver ball. Okay, for some time, correct? Now in this time period, a total of One into ten raised to the power minus seven joules of energy falls on the surface. Okay, now we have to assume that on an average one photon out of one photon out of ten thousand is able to eject a eject a photoelectron. That is one photoelectron. Photoelectron. Okay. Now we have to find the electric potential at the surface of the ball, assuming zero potential at infinity. Okay. Now first of all, calculate what will be the charge of one photon. Okay. So energy, not charge of the one photon, energy of the one photon. So energy of one photon will be equals to h c upon lambda. Correct. Now value of the Planck's constant is six point six three into ten raised to the power minus thirty four joule second. Into value of c is three into ten raised to the power eight meter per second divided by lambda. Lambda is given to us is two hundred nanometers. Two hundred into ten raised to the power minus nine meters. Okay, so from here we get the cha- energy of one photon. Okay, and the energy of one photon will come out as zero point zero nine nine four five into ten raised to the power minus seventy joules. Okay. So this will be the energy of one photon. Okay, now the total energy is falling on the silver sphere is given to us is ten to the power minus seven joules. So what we can say is number of photons emitted will be equals to number of photons will be will be equals to the total energy that is ten to the power minus seven joules divided by the energy of one photon that is zero point zero nine nine four five into ten raised to the power minus seventeen joules. So from here we get the total number of photons, and that will come out as ten point zero five five into ten raised to the power ten photons. Okay, so this much of the photon will be ejected or the emitted from the surface. Okay, now this photon, from the assumption that every that is one photon out of ten thousand will eject one photo electron. So what we can say is the number of photo electrons emitted, number of photo Electrons emitted will be equals to the total number of photons divided by ten raised ten thousand. Correct. So it will be the total number of photons that is ten point zero five five into ten raised power ten photons divided by ten thousand. Correct. So from here we get the total number of photo electrons and it will come out as ten raised power seven. Okay, so this much of the to- total number of photo electrons will be ejected from the surface. Okay, now due to this photo electrons that are emitting from the surface or removal of this photo electron, uh, surface charge will be developed. So this surface charge will be equals to charge developed on the surface developed on the surface. Will be equals to the total number of photo electrons into the charge of a photo electron. Correct. So this much of the charge will be developed on the surface. So what we can say is the potential potential developed 
at the surface as well as the center will be equal to now the assumption given to us in the question is zero potential at infinity correct so for zero potential at infinity what we can say is the potential developed at the center as well as at the surface of the sphere will be given as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r correct where q is the total charge developed correct so substituting the values 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q is we have calculated as 10 to the power 7 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by the radius the radius is given to us is 4.8 centimeter or what we can say is 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters correct now the value of 1 by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 10 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power 7 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 correct so on solving this we will get the potential so the potential will be equals to 0 0.3 volts okay so this is the required answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today